um, strategy in, you know, in court or, or, you know, something like that, you have to admit that you hurt somebody. Right. You have to say, I hurt somebody, but, and hope they'll listen to the but and that you can make a good case. Hmm. Right. <laughs> there isn't really a case where, Oh, you're just allowed to do this. Now. You're going to feel like it because you feel righteous. Right. But it, it's not the case. So, you know, if, if you get to that point where, um, you know, I'm physically threatened and I'm physically responding, you know, which can happen. It really helps to just keep asking yourself, must I do this? And is the threat over? Because it's a little bit like at the top of the, um, you know, the, and, uh, the roller coaster, you know, once you go over that, like the momentum takes you and that psychological mm -hmm. momentum, the physical momentum, the, the, the cascade of uh, hormones that make you um, judge differently and see narrowly and act less dexterously, you know, that, that's why you end up with these crimes of passion where somebody stabs somebody, hurt, you know, it's like, oh, clearly, you know, they didn't still need that. Like, <laughs> you know, that's, you know, um, and that of course becomes indefensible. So then the question is just continually, must I do this? Like in self-defense, people always say, if the person does this and that, can I, you know, punch them back? Can I throw them, you know, can I pull my gun out? You know, I don't, whatever it is. And it's like, that's the wrong question because you're looking for a way in which you can do it, right? So yeah. you can say, can I? And you could say, should I? Which is better, but must I? It's really not a intellectual exercise. It's, oh, oh. I, 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 I have to kick here or, or whatever. Um, but, you know, as I said, kind of leading up to that, you know, are you practicing being aware and not being there? Are you practicing de-escalation, which is really hard to do? Um, that's a big, big giant chunk that's missing right now in our right overall national landscape. Culture, yeah. yeah. Right. And, and it's a little bit like, you know, take your kid's point of view when there's a tantrum. And then obviously the parents are just saying, be quiet, calm down, stay in your seat, wait till your grandmother gets here or, you know, that, that kind of, it's like, you can see that they don't want to hear any of that. Yeah. But you're trying to be reasonable, like just stay calm and dinner's almost over. Just stay calm. We're almost there. Hang on until I finish this call. You know, it seems reasonable, but they're not in a place to hear reasonable. Right. So yeah. even though you come to me as an arbiter and say, hey, wasn't this reasonable, Steve? I'm like, yeah, as a reasonable person, I agree. That was a reasonable action. Great, reasonable question. But that doesn't really <laughs> help you with the unreasonable state that you're dealing with, like a tantrum yeah. kid, for example. Um, and so often in de-escalation, that's the problem. You're doing reasonable things, but they're busy, you know, uh, you know uh, following their momentum. But it you're really trying helps. to hold back the roller coaster, which is right. impossible. Yeah. Right, right. It's right. It's really hard to to do that. And then, of course, you know, you can have other nonviolent skills before besides, you know, your voice, you know, that are a step away from, you know, uh, in, likely to be injurious actions like anything karate teaches or, you know, like likely to be injurious. But that's not generally deadly stuff because that's another level, you know. So if, if you go through your pepper spray and you try and punch and kick and then you need to take a knife out, like that's a fair argument that you kept trying the least, you know, until you must do something else, you know. But, you know, ha having that practice of de-escalation and, you know, you practice it when you're having a mild disagreement and, and you just... You know, you see that John is getting doing, you know, okay, like, let, you know, it's, it's not going to be the worst thing ever, but let me just try and de-escalate um, in a way that they can be heard. And that's a really helpful thing to practice. Plus, it gives you some control. You're not just like panic or fret or hide your head. You're like, okay, here's a thing I can do. Um, hmm. You know, if the right answer isn't just get out of Dodge and, you know. Because sometimes that's the right answer. Run away. <laughs> yeah. But it helps to have like a cogent kind of, uh, you know, I, I don't know. In my head, it's like a diagram flowchart kind of like do this. Mm -hmm. If not this, if that doesn't work, you know, in that sort of a thing. Um, and then work on all those skills. When, when you're 10 years old, you think, well, oh, you know, 
as soon as I have a problem, I can do my sidekick now. I learned sidekick, you know, like, and it's like, that's the wrong tool for a lot of conflicts. <clears throat> have we heard from anybody else? The gang's all here. Uh, it looks like Tony texted me about Zoom. He's there. I see him. Oh, he is. Okay. Okay. I hadn't heard you, and I just saw Tina, and for a while it was just kind of black. So I was no, just... I was just dominating the conversation. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to. I have a lot to say today. <laughs> I was trying to de-escalate Tina, and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I escalated at the school level. I escalated at the national level. I'm yeah. all, all escalated, yeah. Yeah, and that's what the Tao Te Ching kind of looks at things in terms of like, you know, it's within yourself, all these lessons, and then all the same lessons within the family or the village, and then all the same lessons for, from the sort of province or, or national level. You know, it's like, oh, it's all the same. Every lesson's yeah. the same, but it's it's practice them here, you know, you know, that that's a great way to do it. <clears throat> How are you, Tony? I, I hadn't seen you on and I just checked my phone. I saw you were looking for the link. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure who sent it to me. I'm better now. I just didn't want to, you know, come in with something. Yeah. Phone, so. uh, do you hear Tony okay, Tina? He seems he like really away. distant. Yeah. Okay. He's literally far away. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not sure how to uh, adjust the microphone. Maybe it was the microphone, yeah. As a child of the 60s, you're supposed to be far out, not far away. 